I'm Jen, and welcome to the From Jen blog. I know you've seen my backdrop of games and books, and I thought for the second episode I would show you a little bit around our board game uh, collection, since that's something I've posted a lot about on Instagram, and I've also written at least one post on the blog about how playing games is a major part of our lives here in this household. We have around 300 board games, give or take a few, which is an insane amount for someone who purports to live even a minimalism adjacent life. There's a couple reasons for that. One is that my husband is definitely not a minimalist. In fact, he is a collector in the truest sense, but also I enjoy playing board games and our friends enjoy playing board games. Our family enjoys playing board games. So it's something that really brings us all together and we like having a nice collection to choose from. That being said, I know that all of our games don't get played even every year. Uh, we set a challenge for ourselves this year to play as many of our games as possible. And as of right now, which is late February, we've played uh, about 50 games so far this year. So we're about a sixth of the way through the collection for 2021. Last year in 2020, we set a very different challenge and that was to play as many of our games as possible, as many times as possible. So really we wanted to uh, get deep into certain games uh, learning the rules really well, playing any expansions that we had, and really learning more of the strategies of those games and playing them in a more in-depth way than we might have otherwise. There are a couple of tools that we use to track all of this stuff. For us, the biggest one is an app called BG Stats. And my husband, Kevin, keeps that app on his phone and every time we play a game, he logs it. So we know exactly what we have and what we've played and when we've played it. We keep our games organized inside their boxes um, using inserts created by two companies. One's Broken Token and the other one is Folded Space. And I will link both of those along with that app in the show notes. These just make it easier to get the games in and out and get them organized um, and set up quickly because some of them are really complex European board games. Finally, we have these shelves behind me custom built to fit in a corner of our living room. They hold both my book collection and our board game collection. Um, and the cabinets underneath the shelves hold kind of the smaller, messier board games that don't make quite as nice of a backdrop as what I already have behind me. to keep the games that we like the most and that we want to play most often on this open shelving so that we can see them regularly. You'll also note that we don't have a lot of those familiar childhood games like uh, Monopoly or Sorry, and we also don't have a lot of party games and that's just a matter of personal preference. We kind of divide our games up into what we call warm-up games that are quick and easy games and then longer meatier games that would take an hour or an hour and a half to play. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of our board game collection. There's really nothing else that puts me in that same state of flow as getting really involved in a game and thinking through the strategies in my head and just enjoying that hour or hour and a half that it takes to play something with my husband, my friends, or my family. If you have any questions about any specific games that you've seen that we own, or if you have a favorite game you'd like to recommend or ask if we've played, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Also, it helps me a lot if you would like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed and you hit that alarm bell, it'll let you know whenever I have a new video. You can also find me other places online. On Patreon, I'm from Jen. I have a blog at fromjen.com and I'm active on Instagram at, at from underscore Jen. I'm planning to put videos on this channel about every two weeks, so you'll be hearing from me again soon. In the meantime, I'm wishing you love and joy and all of those good things. See you in a couple weeks.
Do you mind? <laughs>